Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katerina. Hope you're all doing well today. For today's video, I kind of wanted to start a new series. This is going to be kind of my one brand favorites or best at the drugstore of a certain brand. So for today, we're going to be talking all about Maybelline. I'm going to break down Maybelline for you guys because I know it can be really stressful and kind of overwhelming going to the drugstore. You look at all the makeup and there's just so much makeup right in front of you and you don't really know where to begin. So I thought this series would be really helpful because once I have all the series done you can just be like, well I want to try some Maybelline products. I wonder what's you know really good at the drugstore. I wonder what maybe doesn't work so well or maybe isn't worth my money. And I just hope that maybe this can help you guys out. But let's get started. Also, to give you guys a little overview really quick, when I think of Maybelline, I think they do an amazing job at their like, foundations, concealers, mascaras, and lip products. Those are amazing. Where I think Maybelline lacks a little bit is bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. I'm kind of going to go in categories of the face, that way it helps kind of break everything down as well. So we're going to start with primers here. My all-time favorite primer from Maybelline is their Baby Skin Primer. This is a pore erasing primer, so those of us who have oily skin typically have larger pores, and even if you don't have oily skin, you might have some large pores. Um, a very common spot is right here under your eyes, on your nose area, and this does an amazing job at blurring them out. It doesn't get rid of them completely but it really blurs them out and this little guy is only like five or six dollars so I highly highly recommend this primer. For foundations I think out of all of Maybelline's foundations I'm obsessed with the Maybelline Fit Me. I think this is their best foundation that they have and I like that they do have two formulas now. So this is the matte and poreless. It's what I personally use. It's what I have on my face. I try to use a little bit of everything on my face today that way I can show it to you in reference. They also do have one for like a dewy formula as well for those of you who have dry skin, but this foundation is amazing. I did already repurchase one of them in the shade 220, and then I also do have a shade of 228 as well. But this stuff is amazing, you guys. It's perfect for humid weather. It's going to lock in your oils. It's going to keep you matte. It's going to be kind of medium to full coverage, blends beautifully, and it just looks flawless and gorgeous on the skin. So highly recommend this, and this is super affordable as well, you guys. This is only about 5 or $6, I believe, as well. Now, when it comes to concealers, I think Maybelline trumps the whole drugstore and some high-end as well and I kid you not I have five different concealers to show from Maybelline and I think that all of them are amazing now I do believe Maybelline has a couple other concealers that you know aren't my favorite but these ones you cannot go wrong with and they all have different purposes and I also just did a top five concealer video if you guys want to see some of these more in depth because these these ones made it in there, this one didn't. But if you guys want to see more in depth and like whole swatches and everything, then I'll link that video down below. But basically the Master Conceal, this is one of their newer ones and this is so full coverage and beautiful and really great for those under eye dark circles. So I also have the two Maybelline Insta Age Rewinds. One is the Dark Circle Eraser, this is the Dark Spot Corrector. Both of these I love. They both are amazing for highlighting under the eye and hiding those dark circles as well. Maybelline Fit Me, which a lot of people compare to either MAC Pro Longwear or NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is a concealer I have under my eyes today and it and I actually have it mixed on with the Master Conceal, but this is very full coverage as well, very blendable, and it stays all day. That's what I really like about this one. Lastly, this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi. This is beautiful for those of you who have dry under eyes. I have really dry under eyes too, but it's a really good job at highlighting under there, and I don't use this really for covering anything, covering dark circles, but it really has that brightening technology in it that's just amazing. It makes your skin look so glowy and hydrating. I'm also sharing a lot of products today, so of course, as always, I will link all the products that I'm talking about down below. I'll have them listed kind of in order of this video to make it easier as well. When it comes to eyeshadows, I'm not a huge fan of maybe their single shadows or their duos, but some of the shadows that I really love are their quads. And they did recently repackage these, so I'll insert a picture of what they look like now. They just kind of repackage it. I believe the formula is still the same. And I use these two on my eyes today. This one right here is the Modern Metallics. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow quads of all time. It's so beautiful. And this one is the Chic Naturals. So I use every single color on this one on my eyes today. I just did a really soft, bronzy look. And then from the Chic Naturals, I just use this little tan one up here, kind of on the center of my lid. But these shadows are stunning, you guys. Super affordable, great pigmentation. They're not too chalky. A little bit chalky, but not too chalky. And yeah, if you guys want to try some eyeshadows from them, I would definitely recommend the quads that they have. I did want to give a shout out to the Maybelline, the Blush Nudes palette. This recently came out, and although I do not think it's the best eyeshadow palette that I've ever tried, I think for the price point of $9, $9.99, it's an amazing palette, and I feel like it's a staple because I don't really find a lot of these shades at the drugstore. So if you are into those kind of like soft, romantic, dusty shades, maybe like the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay, but you don't want to spend the money, the 50 bucks on that, 
this is a great alternative. And I'll link a video down below where I actually did, I used this on one half of my face, Urban Decay Naked Free on the other half of my face, and I got pretty much the exact same look, along with a whole bunch of dupes in that video of high-end and Drexo. So I'll link that down below if you want to check that out as well. Two eyeliners I wanted to talk about. This one first is a Maybelline Ultra Liner. This is waterproof. That's why I want to talk about it because I don't own a lot of waterproof eyeliners because I don't, I don't like waterproof makeup all that much unless it's like powders like Amazonian Clay from Tarte. But this stuff is amazing, you guys. It's really easy to work with. It's not my favorite brush in the whole entire world, but I like the how black it is. It's a very stark, deep, dark black kind of like your true black, which I like. And the fact that it's waterproof, it's perfect for summer when you do want to throw on some eyeliner, but you don't want to worry about it and kind of smudging down your face or anything like that. And again, super affordable. My current holy grail eye product, or my eyeliner, I should say, this is the Maybelline Eye Studio in the shade Blackest Black. This is what I've been using in a lot of my recent tutorials. I was using Tarte's gel liner, but then I got this one, and I have been loving this. I like it so much more than the Tarte one. It's more creamy. It goes on even more black than the Tarte one. I highly recommend picking up the Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner if you are on the hunt for a gel liner of the drugstore. Now, lip products is where I think Maybelline just shines. Again, I think they outshine all of the drugstore. You guys know I used to really love my Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks, which they live just right back here, and I still really like them, but Maybelline has just gone over over the top, above and beyond everything. So I pretty much love all their collections that they have. And so these are some three random ones. This one right here, you guys know I used to talk about this all the time and I still love it so much, but it's more of like a fall shade. This is in the shade 440 Mauve It Up. It's their color sensational line. This was the plums. And it's just a beautiful kind of wine colored plum. It's so stunning, guys. It's like my perfect purpley mauve with a tiny tinge of red in there. It's gorgeous. If all of their lipsticks are $5 or $5.99 at Walmart or Target at least, so that's super affordable. This right here is another sensational. This is from the Buffs line, and this is in the shade 915 Blushing Beige. This is the lipstick I have on my lips right now with a lip gloss that I'm also going to talk about. It's my perfect nude. If you have a medium to tan or even deeper complexion, or fair actually, it's going to look different on everybody. It's one of those lipsticks that definitely looks different, but it is so stunning, and for me personally, this is just my perfect nude. We have another color sensational. I had to give this one a shout out because brown lipstick is something that's kind of hard to come across at the drugstore. One that's going to be flattering on your skin. And this one I love so much. This is in the shade 275 Crazy for Coffee. This is a beautiful brown lipstick. And it doesn't look like a brown on your lips, but it looks more of like a soft brown with a tinge of mauve in there. It is stunning, you guys. It's my favorite brown lipstick that I own. And it's perfect for any time of the year. This would not be a Maybelline Favorites without the Vivids collection. This is when I think Maybelline really shined in the lipstick category because they were pretty much the first brand at the drugstore to come out with bold, bright lipsticks. So I have a couple that I wanted to share with you guys. This one is pretty much my favorite pink lipstick of all time. This is in the shade Pink Pop 860. It's like my perfect bubblegum pink. It's a beautiful, bold, bright color in your face, but it is so stunning. And these are super creamy formula as well. All of their lip products are very consistent in formula, and that's what I love about them. They're all very pigmented, very opaque, very creamy and moisturizing, even their matte lipsticks. And then I also wanted to mention this one. This is in the shade Brazenberry. I think this is one of the first purple lipsticks that I tried, so I had to give it a shout out because this is when I really got into purple lipsticks. It goes on a little bit more on the pinky side on your lips, but it is so beautiful, and like I said, it, you guys know my obsession with purple, and I owe it all to this lipstick. One of Maybelline's newer releases, which I have quickly fallen in love with as well, is the Rebel Bloom Collection. This came out in the spring of 2015, and it's permanent as well. Everything that I'm talking about, I believe, is permanent for you guys. So I did want to qu quickly mention a couple of these ones as well, not all of them. But first one is Lilac Flush. It's in the shade 725, and I, I picked this up. Got home, tried it on, went back to the store a couple days later, and I had to pick up another one for a backup because I've been using this like crazy, like you can see. It's such a unique color, but it's it's so stunning on the lips. And I feel like it might not be in everybody's comfort zone, but it is so beautiful. It's that gorgeous kind of soft lilac pink purpley shade, and I just really, really like it. The one from that line that I wanted to mention was the shade Peach Poppy number 745. Just because I feel like this is a really unique color as well, and it's so gorgeous for the summertime. It's like a very bright in your face, but still soft coral at the same time. It's like a peachy coral, and it's just so unique and stunning, and it looks beautiful with a tan. 
and I just felt like I needed a shout out as well if you're looking for a color like this because again it's just so unique. Now I'm not a huge Maybelline lip gloss fan but I am a huge Maybelline color elixir fan. So basically these are liquid lipsticks and this one right here is the one that I have on my lips right now. It's in the shade Petal Push or Petal Pusher. It's gorgeous you guys and these are super super pigmented as well. This is like a soft pink kind of color, soft nudie pink and they're really long lasting. That's what I like about them. They're not sticky, but they last a really long time. And like I said, they're really opaque. So I love them. And then the two other shades that I do have of that I wanted to mention is the shade Asian and Violet, which is another gorgeous purple shade. This is like more of your crazy purple, but it's really, really pretty. And then also um, Dashing Orchid is a beautiful shade for fall and winter time, or even this time as well. But it's more of like your warm tone purple. It has a hint of cranberry and berry shades in there. Really, really pretty. When it comes to mascaras, that's also a place that I feel like Maybelline shines. And there's a lot of different mascaras that people really love from Maybelline. Myself, personally, my favorites were Maybelline The Rocket, which I used up quite a few times. But then they came out with the Lash Sensational. This is one of their newer, kind of newer uh, mascaras. Ever since I got this one, I don't get the Maybelline The Rocket anymore. I don't try any other mascaras except for Rimmel Lash Accelerator. But I love the wand on this. It's kind of like that curved butterfly wand. And it is the mascara that I have right now. It is gorgeous, you guys. It makes your lashes full, thick, long, but not spidery. And that's what I really like about it. And not clumpy. Also, two pressed powders that I wanted to mention as well. This one is from the Maybelline Fit Me line as well. This is in the shade 220. It's really good for locking in those oils as well. And it's a very finely milled powder. It gives a tiny bit of coverage, nothing too crazy. It also helps minimize and fill in those pores as well. And that's what I really like about it because it makes your face look airbrushed. The one that I have on my face right now, this is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. Now, because I am a little bit summer right now my face is a little bit more on the dry side and it's peeling a little bit in some spots so I didn't want to add an extra mattifying uh, powder but I still wanted to set my face so this doesn't give like a luminous feel but it's again a very finely milled powder has even a little bit more coverage though than the fit me and it just makes your skin look so flawless and just soft it kind of makes it like a soft focus look and that's what I really like about this one alright guys so that completes my first of this series of my one brand favorites these are all my favorite products from Maybelline let me know down below what are your favorite products from Maybelline also let me know what brand you'd like to see next in this series and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and please give it a big thumbs up if you did also make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos I upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday thank you so much you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day see you in my next video bye but today we are talking all about bronzers, so let's jump in. So, first bronzer, and these are in no particular order, but I'm first going to start off with a nice affordable one, one of my